Abandoned at a shopping mall, a two-year-old boy sound asleep in his stroller was found all alone at the food court in Potomac Mills Mall last week. The director of the child's daycare provider, Cristal Lundy, who runs Ebenezer Christian Academy in Woodbridge, is now charged with felony child neglect. This story is concerning for any parent looking into child care. Northern Virginia Bureau Chief Peggy Fox has been talking to child care experts and moms to help other parents avoid problems and safety issues like that one. Peggy. Well, the good news is that the child is fine. The daycare workers did return to the mall an hour later when they realized the little boy was missing. Police were called and his family came to get him. So how can parents avoid child care situations like that that might put their children at risk? What should you look for? What questions should you ask? I talked to several moms today and they have some great suggestions. Number one, listen to your gut. If I get a bad vibe, that is a, a big thing. I'm big on vibes. And it's important that they have prior child care experience. Um, they know exactly what to do, uh, what not to do. They know how to be mindful of the children. They're not too distracted by their cell phones or other things. Those are key. How did the front desk handle guests or visitors? that were coming in to pick up children that necessarily weren't on the authorized pickup list. There's just that sense that you get of this place is safe, this place is full of people who will take care of my child, who will love them the way I do. And so it's really from a feeling sense that I begin. Um, and then talking to people and get a feeling for them as well. So what do the experts say? Jennifer Beers of McLean has owned and operated Early Learning Express out of her home for nearly two decades. Here are her top five questions you should ask before hiring a child care provider. What is the teacher child ratio? For babies and young toddlers, it should be no more than one to four. Make sure the program is licensed and regulated. Check those state uh, websites about that daycare. The daycare should have an open door policy for parents. You should be able to stop in anonymously at any time. Ask if you can come in and observe. You want to spend a good hour watching during a regular day, and that will give you a good gut feeling, a, a good or not so good vibe and ask what the program offers. Are there field trips? How do they manage them? Who drives them? Jennifer Beers, the provider we talked to, says she does not do field trips because she thinks they're too risky. We were talking about the incident that happened last week in Woodbridge. Ebenezer Baptist Church Academy, which left that toddler at Potomac Mills Mall, the state records show officials found three violations in 2015 and 2016, so definitely check the records. All things to consider before putting your child in the care of a daycare or another child care provider. Back to you, Adam. Yeah.